This teaching calls for a heart of wisdom. Jesus said, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. It's not what comes into your mouth that makes you dirty or a bad person, but what comes out. It's not all the good works that you do or deeds that makes you a bad person, but out of the mouth, the heart speaks. What do you say about other people? What do you think about them? Do you think good things about people or bad things? A good tree can't produce bad fruit, and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. Jesus says, you can cover up the outside all you want. You can even pretend to do good things. But what makes you a bad person is in your heart. You can show the world from the outside that, hey, look it, I'm a good person, I do good things. But he says what a good person really is is what's inside the heart. For the treasure is inside the heart. Everything that you say will be held against you. Whether you say it in private, no one sees you. Whether you say it openly, everything you speak will be held against you on the day of judgment. Personally, I believe this is the day of judgment. What you say can either condemn or set free to give life or to kill with the things that you say. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, I'll just go around saying a bunch of good things. It can never be. Something has to happen within your heart. There has to be a conversion. There has to be a change within the heart. Someone has to change your heart to get you to start loving people and even loving yourself. You can try all you want, but you can't change yourself. But only God can change you from here. And until this changes, the outside will never change. The way you perceive life will never change until your heart changes. Now, how do you do that? You invite Jesus into your heart. And you read the Bible every day. The Bible says about itself, God says about his word, it's sharper than any double-edged sword. Piercing through the dividing soul and spirit. He's basically saying it's clean. And he says, wash yourself in my word every day and I'll clean you with it. But if you listen to the world's junk, the music and philosophies and television, you're feeding yourself the reality that you live in. But if you don't even believe what I say, why would you even open up the Bible? You wanna to come to heaven? You want to have peace and love and joy that's not materialistic or based on status? Come to the Word of God, humbly, like a child, and be taught. But if you like the way that the world is, the gossip and the bickering, and you enjoy who you are, you think that there's nothing wrong with you, be my guest. That is your world, and that is your reality, and it is your choice. But if you know that there's something wrong with you and you need help, open up the Bible like a child and allow God to renew your mind, cleanse your heart, and set you on the journey that you are always destined for. 
This world is about love. That's what life is about. Sacrificing ourselves for the greater good of our neighbor. But there's a lot of selfishness and vanity in this world. We have a choice to live for ourselves or to die for each other. There is no greater call or purpose than for it is for a person to lay down their lives for their brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name, amen.